Could creatine be the missing link between energy, focus, and longevity? Most people think creatine is just for gym gains, but the science says otherwise. And I've gone through hundreds of peer-reviewed studies, and what they show about creatine goes way beyond muscle. So in this video, I'll break down the five most proven benefits of creatine, plus a bonus tip on how to avoid the toxic brands that sneak heavy metals and carcinogens into their powder. Now, if you're already taking it, or thinking about starting, this would change how you see creatine forever. So, what if the same supplement that builds muscle could secretly recharge your brain? Well, most people think mental fatigue hits when they're tired or distracted, but it usually starts long before that, and your brain burns through energy faster than any muscle in your body, since every decision, every thought, every emotion is powered by ATP. And when those energy levels dip, focus fades, reaction time slows, and your brain starts buffering like an old YouTube video. So creatine doesn't just hang out in your biceps, it actually loads into your neurons too by increasing phosphocreatine, a backup energy reserve that recharges your brain's ATP supply when it's running low. Think of it like giving your brain its own portable charger. So when stress, sleep loss, or long work days start draining your focus, creatine keeps the lights on, and research shows this boost in cellular energy translates to sharper memory, quicker processing, and even better resilience under mental fatigue. And if you're vegan or vegetarian, you'll feel this even more, since your natural creatine stores are lower to begin with. But here's the part that most people miss. Creatine isn't just helping your muscles recover, but also helping your brain resist decline in the most optimal way possible. And to start noticing the mental benefits, take your creatine with your first carb-containing meal of the day. Since it helps deliver energy to your brain when focus matters most, and once your focus locks in like this, your body doesn't just keep up, but starts sinking in ways you can actually feel. So, is creatine actually improving how your body handles energy, and not just how it burns it? Well, most people think metabolism is just about how fast you burn calories, but that's just on the surface level. The real story is how your body decides what to do with the fuel you give it, and that could mean how you store it, waste it, or use it to power you through the day. When your metabolism gets sloppy, your energy swings hard, and one hour you're up, and the next you're fighting off a food coma, and that constant roller coaster doesn't just kill productivity, it quietly wears down your mood, your sleep, and even your long-term health. So how does creatine actually fit into this picture? Well, inside your muscle cells, Creatine helps shuttle glucose out of your bloodstream and into the tissue where it's supposed to go. And it does this by increasing the number of glucose transporters, called GLUT4, which act like little doorways pulling sugar inside. When those doors open more often, your blood sugar stays stable and your body runs smoother. And the best part? This process doesn't just help in the gym, but also improves insulin sensitivity over time, meaning your body gets better at managing energy, whether you're working, training, or just sitting on the couch and binge watching watching your favorite YouTuber. So with consistent creatine use, your metabolism starts acting smarter, not harder. And instead of the sharp spikes and crashes that drain your energy, you get steady fuel flow, better focus, and a body that feels like it's finally in sync. And here's how to 10 times that effect, even stronger. So after training, take your creatine with a carb-rich meal or shake to help your muscles pull in more glucose and stabilize blood sugar. And when recovery feels this effortless, your strength starts telling a new story one that doesn't fade when the spotlight's off. Now, have you ever noticed how some people bounce back after brutal workouts? Like it's nothing? This isn't just genetics or good sleep. Some bodies are literally built to recover faster because their cells are better at holding water. And that small detail changes a lot of things. So when your muscle cells are hydrated, they repair faster, clear out waste more efficiently, and trigger the growth signals your body needs to rebuild. But when they're dehydrated, recovery slows down. Kind of like trying to lift after barely sleeping, making everything feel heavier, and bringing your progress to a screeching halt. And here's where creatine quietly earns its reputation. And it does this by pulling water into your muscle fibers. And not under your skin, but inside the cells. That increase in volume tells your body it's time to rebuild. A process also known as cell volumization, which jumpstarts protein synthesis, accelerates nutrient delivery, and helps you bounce back stronger after every session. It's like your muscles finally getting that deep recovery they've been craving, the kind where you wake up stronger instead of sore. So the real magic isn't what happens after one workout, but what happens when this becomes your new normal. So with consistent creatine use, your body doesn't just recover better, it adapts better, 
and muscles stay fuller. Your soreness fades quicker, and your training rhythm never loses its edge. And you can keep that recovery switch turned on by drinking an extra glass of water on training days, which helps keep muscle cells hydrated enough to trigger recovery signals. And now that your recovery is locked in, your body's not just bouncing back, but gearing up for something even bigger. Now, why do some people stay strong well into their 60s while others start fading in their 30s? The reality is, most people think aging just means getting weaker, like it's written into your DNA. But what's really happening isn't fate, it's straight up neglect. And when your muscles stop getting the right signals, they start giving up, shrinking, and slowing down before their time. That slow decline in strength, known as sarcopenia, doesn't just steal muscle, it steals independence. So one day you're lifting confidently, the next you're struggling with things that used to feel effortless. And it doesn't happen overnight, but a slow leak that most people don't even notice until it's already cost them years of progress. And that's where creatine quietly changes the story. So when you take creatine consistently, your muscles don't just grow, they stay active longer. And when paired with resistance training, Creatine signals your body to hold onto a lean tissue, even as you age. So, what does that really mean for your future self? Well, with daily creatine use, you're not just building strength today, but protecting it for the long haul. So if you want that strength to actually stick, lift at least three times a week while focusing on compound movements like squats and rows, since creatine further amplifies the strength you build from those heavy lifts, and just when everything seems dialed in, there's one mistake that can quietly undo it all. And final, what if the creatine sitting in your kitchen was doing more harm than good? Now, most people think all creatine powders are the same, but the truth is, some are loaded with impurities that your body never signed up for. And when you're taking grams or more of this stuff every single day, that small difference adds up fast. See, creatine isn't like a vitamin where you take a microdose, but instead, you're consuming it by the gram. And if it's contaminated, you're flooding your system with unwanted chemicals and nonsense. Studies have found that some cheaply made creatine, especially from poorly regulated factories, can contain traces of heavy metals and two toxic byproducts called diceandiamide and dihydrotriazine, which both can cause long-term cellular stress and inflammation. And here's what separates the clean stuff from the junk you see being promoted by fitness influencers. So high quality creatine, like CreaPure, is made in Germany using a purified water-based process that filters out those impurities. In contrast, many low cost versions, especially from bulk Chinese suppliers, skip that final purification step to save money. The end result, more contaminants and less purity per scoop. Think of it like training with dirty weights at a rundown gym. Sure, you might still get stronger, but you're exposing yourself to stuff that'll come back to bite you later. And to make sure that you're getting the good stuff, always check your creatine label and look for Made in Germany or the CreaPure trademark and avoid anything without transparent sourcing or third-party testing. Because at the end of the day, what you put in your body should build you up, not slow you down. But here's the bottom line. Creatine isn't just a muscle supplement. It's a full body upgrade. From sharper focus to stronger recovery, and long-term protection. It's one of the simplest, most proven tools you'll ever add to your stack. So if this video opened your eyes to what creatine really does, subscribe and let me know how you're using it. Till next time.